hey it's vanessa and welcome to my youtube channel if you're new hello if you're not new welcome back so in today's video i'm gonna talk about things you can do in a gap year i'm calling it in a gap year right now and yeah i feel like a lot of people don't know what to do in a gap year and i'm just gonna put out ideas things that i've done so you can have a rough idea what to do in your gap year so if you're interested keep watching so gap years how do we start it when it comes to gap years people just take them because they literally don't know what to do at the moment and instead of rushing into a cause and paying on grand they just prefer taking a gap year and figuring out what to do when it comes to gap years if you take a gap year and you sit on your yard you sit down in your house doing nothing and just like under your mum's roof doing nothing you'll be the same as before like you will still don't know what you want to do in life you need to get active you need to get out there so you know what to do so you discover yourself so yeah i've got some ideas things that i've done so i've got my little book here that's why i'm going to be looking a bit down and i've got a list the first common one is getting a new job I recommend getting a new job getting a job that you've not done before and the reason that is is because you get to develop new skills and when you do your cv or your personal statement for whatever you want to you want it to look different you want to add different skills because you've done a different job i don't know if you get what i mean so it's just nice to try something new so you know what you like so yeah i recommend getting a different job you don't necessarily have to go like a complete different field but just something that you wouldn't do on your normal basis if you know what i mean so just so you can develop new skills try different things and explore so yeah get a new job second of it is traveling now traveling for a holiday no traveling to meet people traveling to get to know the cultures traveling to learn a new language traveling to just expand like traveling just to go on a holiday like for example you go to turkey and you get a fancy hotel and stay in the hotel 24 7 that isn't that isn't it and when i mean traveling traveling on your own like it's much better to travel in your own than a group of people when it comes to gap years i personally feel like it is but yeah i feel like traveling is a really good one recommend going on your own get a shit hotel or an hotel that doesn't have a lot of a lot of um what is the word that i'm looking for a lot of things for example when i went to paris i took a, my hotel wasn't bad it was a good hotel nice bed nice room but i didn't have a lot of facilities that's the word i was looking for facilities when i mean facilities i mean um, gym sauna spa swimming pool restaurants bar there was just a bedroom breakfast open between eight and ten and that's it nothing else nothing else nothing else and if you have if you get an hotel that is like that you will force yourself to get out because there's no way you can be in a room sitting doing nothing it's really hard but when you go to a holiday you look for a swimming pool spa bath restaurant gym there's not a point on going out because you've got everything there you know some of them got casinos inside inside the the hotel that's like american thing but you see what i mean like get a uh, an hotel that's not that doesn't have a lot of facilities so you force yourself to get out there and explore meet new people get to another city get to other cultures socialize do different activities explore have fun and i feel like it's better to go on your own obviously it's nice to go with with people as well but when it comes to your own when you do it yourself obviously it's like it's you you make the choice of what you want to do whereas when you go in a group of people you might not always do what you want to because you need to accommodate other people so yeah travel travel like, traveling is literally educational like it should be a part of life traveling joining a camp camp i mean like camp america that's an, that also counts as traveling as well but 
joining an account but it also helps with like charities and stuff like that it's a new experience i've never done it and i'm gonna do it no, i don't think i'm gonna do it next year i'm gonna do it the other year and lord have mercy i think it's just gonna be absolutely amazing but yeah join a camp and they are low so i'm gonna read them out that's why i'm gonna be looking down so you've got camp america camp america is the most popular one everybody goes to camp america and yeah everybody goes to camp america camp thailand that is the one that i want to go and i am going to apply for it you've got camp cambodia you've got camp bali camp vietnam camp euro trip euro trip is basically um you go in different cities like not different cities different countries whereas camp america camp thailand camp cambodia and the rest camps you, you stay on that country and you just maybe travel a little bit of different cities but you a trip you're literally traveling for different different countries so yeah you got camp south africa camp greece camp maldives and camp philippines say so fam right they are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten camps if i'm right 10 camps so you've got a lot of camps and you just you spend about for 21 days 20 days the shortest one i think it's 7 to 12 days but yeah i recommend just going for the full 20 days and it's like you pay for the you pay to go to the camp obviously you need to pay for your ticket separately to get there but they will provide the activities they'll provide the accommodation they'll provide provide transfer so it's really nice and it just is really 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 good to put in your cv so yeah join a camp internships um if you've got like a job in mind that you want to do and you want to try it out internships are really good and it's just like a little bit of working experience and it's just um you might work there for like a period of 12 weeks or summer and just do get a feel of it get if you like it or not and it's just it's basically just trying the job before you enter it it's kind of like that it's the type of work experience which is really good volunteering I love, that's another thing as well um trying things out so to know if you like it or not trying the job before you like it that's kind of the volunteering thing starting new hobbies I don't know like you, I guess you can start new hobbies but I feel like I don't know like sports or anything joining that just to get yourself just to just to make something new I guess you know learning a language or something like that I'm trying to learn French I've not picked it up for a while but I need to pick that up but yeah just gaining skills at the end of the day gaining 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 skills another one i've got social media get into social media like doing tiktoks that's something new you know doing tiktoks and instagram like influencer thing youtube kind of thing that's another thing it's a world that you can join in and you know and at the end you can be like tiktok famous or whatever and coin and some money so yeah and what have i got oh starting a little business I've started a little business. I started cosmetic business because I got my lashes on. But yeah, just to get you, just to, just to experience, just to do something new and see if you like it and see if like, oh, this is what I want to go into in life. So yeah, like, it's all about trying different things, trying as much things as you can so you can write when you write your cv when you write your personal statement it should be looking very 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 different very very different it should not be looking like the same as before like what the hell it should be looking very different adding your new skills that you've done and you've completed or whatever and yeah there's a lot of things to do in a gap year and obviously gap years are like i feel like they're over it underrated like kind of thing like people don't do some people think it's a bad thing to do a gap year and it's not bad at all it clears your mind like i feel like sometimes 18 going to uni or whatever is i think it's a bit early not gonna lie it's a bit early and some people don't know what to do and 
people don't know what to do at 18. I remember like at 17, you need to start the process. I'm like, 17, what do you do at 17? What do you want to do at 17? And it's quite like, you don't know. Some people are in uni right now. Some people finish uni, just they don't know what to do. So I feel like gap peers do clear your mind. And sometimes after you finish your gap year and you enter uni, you won't really know what you want to do. But you will have like a certain area of interest that you would like to pursue, something like that. So, yeah, like, there's a lot of things to do in a gap year. I'll just give you a few ideas. And, yeah, just don't sit, in, don't, don't sit around doing nothing because that's when you call life wasted. You, you've wasted that year when you could have done so much. So keep yourself busy. I've given you some ideas and just get new skills, gain some experience, explore the world and you will find a light shining and you end up, you will end up finding what you want to do. And if you don't, at least you've done, at least you've gained new skills for a new job or for anything in general. So yeah, I've just given you some tips and I hope this video helped. And I'll see you on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. See you later.